Gracie Lady, um, one of my grayscale coloring pages that I have available right now on Etsy. So today um, we are going to work on her skin. And um, I did this one already, and it was a it was a little I want, I want to say challenging, and that's only because it's um, a paper that I'm you know I haven't done in a while. I'm not super used to it, and the polychromos. So I'm crossing my fingers and I'm hoping that this comes out okay. You know, gotta just go for it. So we'll see. So I am using, I did say polychromos, yes. Uh, okay, so I've pulled a few colors out here. Um, to start with, let's see, I don't know that I'll need the pink right away. To start with, I'm going to use, um, I might not even use coral right away. Coral, beige red, cinnamon, burnt sienna. And then I also have pulled out... Um, the Caput Mortems, both of them, Pink Matter Lake, and Burnt Carmine, and Ivory. So let's, let's see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm used to being able to lay um, dark colors down first. I think in this case, I'm going to put a um, full coat of and not too heavy, a full coat of this beige red down um, because I don't want the dark colors to attach themselves too heavily to the paper. So, Hopefully that's the right thing to do. I didn't write down the process of how I did it the first time. I only wrote down the colors, so I think it'll be okay. Have I mentioned how much I love my new rig that my hubby made for me? <laughs> yeah, he built me this really cool um, thing. I don't know what to call it. Um, extension arm um, that's attached to a separate table in front of my coloring table. It's actually an old vintage sewing machine base with a half moon tabletop on it. So it's real heavy, which is nice. <clears throat> and from that, he's attached this extension arm that hovers over my uh, work table so that as I'm coloring, normally if I was to be do if I were to be doing this before, my camera would just be shaken away. But now because the um, the camera rig with the with the arm and all that is not touching my table, it's just nice and quiet and smooth. So I don't have to worry about that anymore, which is really nice. So, um, paper. This is the, um, Spring Hill Digital. I think it's the 80 pound card stock. I don't think it's 90. I think it's 80. And I, I quite like it for a white paper. It's got a little bit more tooth than the papers that I used to use, the white papers that I used to use, but not so much that it um, bothers me. So I'm actually using quite light pressure because I don't want to start filling any tooth yet. I just want to um, put a base down. Hopefully the 
lighting is okay. It seems like it might be really washing things out. Um, even though you aren't already aware of this even though I um, it looks like I'm just kind of scribbling back and forth I'm actually using these round ovally um, motions so if I were to slow it down this is actually what it, what I'm doing my uh, grandson in the other room, supposedly taking a nap, but I'm hearing noises coming out of there. <laughs> so I think I need to go check on him real quick. Not, you know, not scary noises or anything, but it's like, hmm, he's supposed to be sleeping. Okay, I think I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go, I'm going to go check on him. And I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, he's fine. He's just not asleep yet. He's just laying in there making, making noises. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. What do I want to do next? Um, so let's go gradually, so I think I'm going to add cinnamon next, yes, cinnamon, and my pencil is not very sharp, and I think that that's okay, because I want, I don't want any um, strong pencil marks. Every time I break out Holly's to do skin or actually anything on regular paper. I love, 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 love them on drafting film. I absolutely, they're like those and luminance on drafting film are like my favorite. Every time I use them on regular paper though, it's just such a feels like such a learning curve again because they behave so much differently than Christmas. You know, I use them and I and I feel like why aren't I getting any color coming off the pencil? That's just the way they are. I got to build up that color. That's okay. It's good to keep practicing.
I don't know why I'm having a hard time. So, I may have done this already, but I'm going to do it again and um, just say thank you so, so very much to everybody who's purchased one of my coloring pages so far. It's been, it's been really amazing and um, I'm very, very grateful. And uh, I know that I only have two... Um, you know, female portraits um, ready right now, but I have my next one all planned out, and I will start on that next week. So, anyway, I just wanted to I can't always like really say thank you individually to everybody, but if you purchased one, you have my sincerest thank yous. Part of me is wondering if I do need to sharpen this, maybe I would get a little bit better color coming down. Although it does, it does look like it's working. for whatever reason some kind of texture going on here on the edge I don't know if it's paper defect or what alright I'm sharpening again really soft um, even pressure so that I don't get any marks because I don't think these are as easy to smoosh out the um, pencil marks as Prismas might I saw, 
I so badly want to start smushing color and I, I can't. <laughs> it's really something to get used to. Oh my goodness, I was totally out of frame there. Sorry, sorry. You'd think that I would um, catch that now since the camera is practically right in my face. I want to start adding some darks. I think I do. But before I do, just to be sure that I don't run out of tooth, I'm going to add some of this pink matter lake. her cheeks. Yes. I think it does need a little bit of that pink, but the coral kind of tones it down so it's not quite so bubblegummy. So let's do some Caput Mortem. So I think I've talked about this before, but I've found that the, um, the reds and um, peaks and purples really help to um, tone down and take away the gray of the grayscale. So, um, using those colors on top of areas that are really um, dark and gray, especially on skin tones, like this Caput Mortem, Caput Mortem Violet, if you're using Prismas, um, ch you know, Chestnut, um, it really those are really good colors for going over gray areas. It, they still stay kind of dark, but they it tones down the gray look so that your piece doesn't look like they're dead. <laughs> Feels like it's leaving pencil marks.
might have gone a little bit. Well, I'll probably I'll probably tone it down when I put the other colors on top. This is just Capricorn. I wonder if I want to switch to Capricorn Violet. Let's try that. Trying to bleed to blend this out, the shadow out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn her a little bit. This white line right here is the light reflection coming up off her, her body, basically. So I don't want that to be too white. I am going to put um, another color over the top of it. But that's what that is. And the same with this light area under her chin, under her um, lip. That's also a little bit of light reflection. Okay. She looks like she's got a beard right now. I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> definitely go through an ugly phase before you go through the pretty phase.
I think we need some burnt sienna, some more orangey tones. Counteract these purpley ones. Light frame? No, not in frame. If you guys um, are coloring this page, if you're on Instagram, please don't forget to tag me um, at Art by Karen Valentine because I want to see what you've done. Um, you could also use um, hashtag Art by Karen Valentine. That would be all right too. Um, actually, that would probably be a good. A good way to go but anyway I want to be able to see what you guys are doing it makes me happy to see this page and all the pages getting colored see your interpretations and what you do and I like it <laughs> all right let's do some here. I'm gonna have to fix this. There's something weird about the shape of that. Okay, let's do some um, 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 Sienna Brown. Nope, sorry, burnt sienna. I always get my colors mixed up. Burnt sienna. There we go. A little bit of a little bit of orangey tones here. Kind of golden, not really orangey. actually need to get some shadow in here, which I forgot to do. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I find it like a really fun challenge to see just how realistic I can get, you know, stuff to be. Not everybody gets our hobby, but that's okay. They don't have to. <laughs> freckles in here some point.
Still in that ugly stage. I'm hoping that when I put the um, light, whatever that color is that I started with, this beige red, I'm hoping that when I put that over the top, everything all blends out and gets smooth. to go up there like that, but I guess it'll be okay. <laughs> well, I went a little bit too far into that. Yeah, a little bit too far. I think I want to take some of that out. I'm actually going to go straight down. Alright, let's fix, see if we can fix that. And She's getting there, little by little. break out the beige red and see what happens. Actually, I also want some Prisma White. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Let's put this down. Okay, so beige red. Now I'm pressing a lot harder than I have been because I want to smush and blend these colors. But then I want to see what happens if I add some. Alright, so that does um, lighten and brighten. So that's good. Okay, so. Uh, 
beige red. Let's do it. Again, I'm just kind of double checking because that looks really dark. I want that to be a little bit lighter. Boy, that sure does a beautiful job of blending the colors together, though. I might wind up using that all over the entire thing when I'm done. <laughs> it really smooths it out. So I'm not sure. Let me see. I'm going to blend this out and then I'm going to break out the um, burnt sienna and make sure. Yes, I can. Okay. I'm going to wait and do the freckles till I get a little bit more of this done. I think she's actually going to turn out to have much more of a tan than my first version. <laughs> it looks like she's Quite a bit darker than the first version I did. They never do come out exactly the same. So I'm not gonna um, put, I'm gonna just go very lightly over the chin. Oh yeah, I think the white is going to really be a good addition at the end here. song in my head. <laughs> I swear, ever since I started babysitting my grandson, and he, we, watch, we have Sesame Street uh, videos from YouTube on in the background all the time, singing and stuff. <laughs> I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm singing Sesame Street song, songs in my head. They're in my head constantly. I'm lightening my um, pressure a little bit as I go over the, the highlighted area there. Okay, um, pa, pa, pa. now the question is, do I put the white on before or after I do the... We're going to try this all over the whole thing, and then I'm going to put some, um, some yellow tones on here as well, and some gray, yeah, I've got a long way to go. 
Hopefully this isn't filling all the tooth. Okay, so she needs some, some, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to use here. Hang on one second. This is a cream. Yeah, she needs a little bit of that. on her. She looks really, really yellow in the video, but not so much in person. I don't know why it looks so yellow. Just kind of adding it where the, the um, sun would make her skin glow. Okay, I'm going to add some freckles and then I'll add some... I want to add some purples too. Yeah, she's, she's a lot tanner than my first girl. Okay, uh, burnt sienna. My pencil is not super duper sharp because I want the freckles to be soft them to have that soft edge. Make sure that they're um, random, that they kind of like some of them are closer together. Some of them are further apart, some of them are lighter, some of them are darker. in the in the part where the skin is bright well, I might even come in and add some in some in a different color some that are a little bit redder maybe Maybe. I'm going to put some pink. I want to double check that that's the pink that I want, though. 
love my swatch charts, I'll tell you. I really, really do. Okay, Pink Matter Lake. Yeah, I think that's the one I want. All right, so we're just going to glaze very, very lightly. We're going to glaze some pink on her nose. Maybe a little bit more. said I was doing this with polyprobos, but there's a color in Prisma that polys just don't have, and that is grade lavender. Um, I could use um, a luminance. Luminance has a good grade, uh, violet gray. I could use that, but I do love this color. It's really good for shadows. And generally, on a face, you've got three different zones of color. You've got the yellows on the forehead, the pinks over the cheeks and the nose, and the, um, and the purples, lavenders, etc on the chin and they're subtle but those are kind of like the undertones and every time I add it to a portrait I'm, gl I'm glad I did I look at it and go oh yeah it really needed that can see this whole area that I just completely um, didn't do anything with here above her eye for whatever reason. I don't know. So I'm going to put some shadow in here. is making funny noises. <sighs> like it wants to fall off of my ceiling at any moment now. What the heck? I think I need to turn my fan down a little bit. Okay. Um, we're almost there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Get the, I'm debating on black or like dark sepia maybe for her nostril. Sepia. Let's just, uh, I'm just curious if I do dark sepia instead of black. Might need a little both. Alright, we're gonna go 
circle bright right around her eye. Right there. At this point now, it's kind of just me tweaking stuff, I think. This is the gray lavender. I feel like she needs, I kind of want to do her um, lips because she feels, something feels weird. Not weird, just like there's not enough color. And I want to make sure that I don't make the mistake and put it all in her skin when it really needed to be in her, ch in her lips. Why is it showing? It's really showing up yellow <laughs> in the camera. Why is that? I don't know. She's not that yellow. Okay, I'm going to blend this a little bit with my blender. Happy with this. No, that's way down there. Let me do her lips, and then we'll do her eyes, lips, and teeth. So teeth are never white, never, ever, 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 ever white. That is how they look, totally fake. Um, ivory might be too yellow, but maybe not. do the lips. I'm going to use Burnt Carmine, that Pink Matter Lake, and White. We need something else. Metal cadmium red. I'm, I'm only picking that because it's, no, because I had that out for some reason. It's, um, they need to be, uh, I want them to be more orange, more, uh, what's the color I'm thinking of? Like more coppery. 
So, I could try Venetian red. I have that out here somewhere. India red, what's that look like? Let's try that. I want this part under the lip, you know, at the closest to the teeth to be the darkest. This is um, cream. Well, they're definitely more coppery now, that's for sure. Let's do a little pink. lightest amount. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's not bad. Um going to tone that down a little bit. All right, let's do the eyes. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this cold gray three. just to blend that out and I want her to have green green eyes because I am going to give her um, flaming red hair I kind of wanted her to be a like a Irish little Irish girl <laughs> uh, This is burnt sienna. This is our beige red again. use burnt carmine in here. It's such a tiny little amount. I think that'll be fine. Okay. 
So, um, can I redo her lashes? Eyeliner. Okay. I'm going to try if I can. I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to pull it out further so you guys can see a little bit more of the page. Okay, so I actually took my lights off of the page because they really change a lot of how things look when they're, <laughs> depending on where they're pointing. But that looks a little bit closer to what she actually looks like. She didn't look quite so, um, she doesn't look quite so yellow as she did <laughs> before. Um, okay, is there anything else that I wanna do? I mean, it could, it's, at this point, I think it's just a lot of tweaking. Um, she definitely is a little bit darker than the other one I had. But actually, I'm saying that, but it could just be because I'm comparing her, you know, like without her hair color, her skin could look completely different than what the um, the other one looks like. So I know that I'm going to give her this flaming red hair, so I'm going to go ahead and give her her, um, I shouldn't say flaming red. It's really not going to be flaming red. It's like, you know, like a true ginger, a true redhead, orangey. I think I'm I think I'm pretty happy with her. I'm gonna take the grade lavender under her eye. And I think darken under her nose. sure if that was the right color to use though so let's see what other I guess we could try grade lavender let's try that mix that with it boy it's really amazing how much <laughs> creamier the um the prismacolor feels on this paper as opposed to the polys I love these colors. There's a lot of colors in the polychromos line that I really, really like. But I'm still, for portraits, I'm still a fan of Luminance and Prismacolor. I'm not sure how many more portraits I'm gonna be doing in polychromos. It just seems like you have to work so much harder to get the same results. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm looking for something to fix that line right there. So Caput Mortem or Caput Mortem Violet. 
I'm just going to and maybe this needs to have a little bit more darkening in here a little bit more shadows here. That looks a little bit too red. Lavender. Okay. Am I totally happy with her lips? I don't like that um, line. So I either need to go oh, sorry, stuck my head right in the camera. That's a little bit better. Maybe a little bit of brightness here. For the most part, one more thing and then I'm done. I just want to warm up this spot right here. And I might want to give her a few more freckles. We use Caput Mortem this time instead of the Sienna Brown. One kind of cool thing about putting them on and then going over them again with another color and then putting them on again is you, is that you get this this depth of the skin um, that you don't get if you just you know put the freckles on the top and don't have them look like they're also you know in uh, under layers of skin as well Yeah, 
I think that's good. I think I'm going to call her done. All right, guys. Again, thank you for spending part of your day with me. Um, when we come back, I think we're going to do the background. Um, get that in. Get the mandala done and the background. And then her hair will get, her hair and the sunflower will get done last. I think that's the order that we'll do it. So, all righty. Until I see you guys again, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Happy coloring. Bye-bye.